show you here on my refrigerator my G refrigerator the compressor went out and it's not kicking on so my fridge is not cooling uh, what you're first going to do is you're going to take this cover off right here which goes over this here where your um, start relay is right here and then this top one is your overload so the black wires here the reds to the right and the white wires to the left you're gonna take these off and you're gonna shake these here if you hear it wiggling in there this is a two piece series part uh, a lot of the fridges have a one series part just one part but you're just gonna remove it and you're gonna shake it if it's shaken more than likely the ceramic part the ceramic piece in there has broke off because they get dry and brittle after kicking the compress over so many times Alright, so I'm going to take this off. All you're going to do is take the wire off, like so. And the first part's going to come off, like so. And this part is the overload. Okay? You can hear it in here, the ceramic. I think it's this part. If you listen, you can hear it. Okay? And then same thing with this part. You're just going to take this one off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this new part on. This is a GE, but... The guys over at the um, over at the um, refrigerator place appliance store says that this part will work also, but this is for Whirlpool. Only thing different is that it has like a third prong on here. I just won't hook nothing into the third prong. It's got the overload and it's got the relay, uh, uh, relay, the start relay, relay starter. All right, so also you can also test these. There's four, there's three um, prongs coming out of here. You can see them. The three prongs, you're just gonna test those for continuity. So what you wanna do is just set your ohmmeter or your uh, multimeter, it's just I got a little small one here, and ground it out, scratch your little surface off of your compressor, ground it, and then test each part, each, uh, each little prong there. There's three prongs there. Test them, ground it here, and then take your red wire. I can't do it because I got both of my hands full. Ground it there, scratch this part off there, test it. If you hear continuity like this, that means that there's a short. All I'm doing is pushing these two together to get that to beep. Uh, if you get that, more than likely your compressor is probably bad. I'll send you a link to a guy who tested it so you can see what, it, what he does. But I'm going to put these on and then we're going to see if the fridge is going to start. Alright, so just test each one of these prongs separately with your red wire and your ground, grounded here, and your red lead from your multimeter and teach each, test each prong. And if you don't get any continuity or any uh, tone from your multimeter, then your compressor should be good. Alright, and here's the new parts that I'm going to put on and we're going to see if this fridge is going to fire up. So let me put it on. Make sure that you take your cap off. This is the cap for it. it covers over. It covers over there. And make sure you unplug all your power. Definitely. All right. And then uh, a lot of times these come in a one part. It's just one part. You're just going to take that whole plastic part off. Shake it because it comes together. The uh, overload and the start relay come together just in a square box, and the ceramic parts run that all together. This is just a two two part series thing so you just want to shake it and see if you if you hear any rattling so let's hook this up and see if it works I want to show you guys the new part and the old part this is the old part this is the new part you can see that this one has an extra prong which I won't use I'll just use the top two here I won't use this prong at all you can see it's got this one but it's just a little like they shaved it off or whatever they did cut it from there but this is the old one with just the two this is the new one and you can see this part here has been broken the ceramic parts are broken on it they fell off or something but I think that's the problem this is what it's supposed to look like this is the new part and this is actually for a whirlpool but they didn't have the GE ones but these are the same thing made by the same company and everything it's just different name on them so it should work I just wanted to show you guys that don't get confused if you get something like this um, it's just the two and again this is a GE and I'll put the uh, in the uh, description uh, what kind of model it is and everything okay all right you guys so hold on and let's hook it up 
and we'll go from there.